Hey everybody, it's Carly here and I guys I have you guys propped up. Hopefully it doesn't jiggle and shake a lot, but I have a few things that I wanted to share with you. Um from the past couple of days, I think I have Target thrift store, reconsidered goods and Walmart. So, I have a uh, a family member, a niece that lives in Maryland who was on the hunt for some of those little cute Christmas mugs from Target. So um, I went out and found a couple of them for her and I picked up two for me. So I have a sister and my niece back in Maryland, sorry about the crinkle guys, where I'm originally from. And they sent me a picture and I knew these were a hot commodity. Oh God, I'm shaking y'all too bad. And so I checked my Target and they were out even though they said they had them. And then I went to the one in Winston-Salem, and I found two of these, so they are very excited. Um, so I know that these are out all over because we searched where we know we had family member all around. So I wanted to share with you that I got these for them. So these are making their way to my sister and my niece, Lexi, for their grandbaby, Ryan. And so she needed two of those. I'm going to wrap them back up. Sorry, guys. So I got two of those, and while I was out looking I picked up two of the gingerbread ones so I got the boy gingerbread aren't they cute super stinking cute these are from Target these are five dollars and they had a few others they have a girl version I picked this one up at my other Target oh that's the other house so one of these is a girl hold on there we go so the little girl one is one. Isn't that cute? So I got these two little guys to sit um, in my little cocoa um, bar up in my kitchen. I think they're adorable. So again, they're from Threshold Stoneware Mug. And these are like $5. And the stores that I went to, they are, I'm going to set these out of the way so they're right then. Um, they are in the home goods, like the the kitchen aisles. I'm going to wrap this one up, guys. These are a hot commodity. If I break these, I don't know that I'll be able to find any more. Because uh, we've been searching all up and down the East Coast for all the family to try to find me. Lexi really wanted those. So while I was there at Target, I went ahead and picked. I've seen these for a while. These were $5. And these are just two little, like, stands. I have a couple plants upstairs that we brought in from the deck that I want to elevate off of the table. So I think I'm gonna use those, uh, at least one of them. And the other one I may use um, when I set up my cocoa bar. So these are $5 and they're just, you know, cute little risers um, that I got. Okay, um, so while I was at Target, I had to get some goodies to send to my great niece, my little baby niece. So I kinda went with the theme, the cocoa. I just had to show you guys. This is not crafty, but I'm going to make a care package for her. I'm always sending her little care packages um, throughout the year, you know, because she's only, what, three? So, of course, I went with the gingerbread theme. And look at these two little cookies that they have at Target. Are they not adorable? So, super cute. So, I picked this up. And, of course, I had to get the gingerbread cookie, which I had the cookie cutter. I'd already picked one of these up for me, so I picked one of these up that's going to go to Maryland. And of course, I had to get some cookie mix, some gingerbread cookie mix that will go so Lexi and Ryan and my sister Ginger can make little Rye some <clears throat> gingerbread and um, have some hot cocoa and everything. So I got her some. Hershey Kisses. These are little Santa ones. Aren't these adorable? And then these are hot cocoa. I hadn't seen these before. Look how adorable these are. They're going to be yummy. So they're little hot cocoa um, Hershey's. They must have like marshmallows inside. Super stinking cute. And on the back it shows you how to make hot cocoa cookie cups. That's a lot of fun. So I got those, and of course, don't know, I just got these because they're like super yummy for kids. So I got that, and then I found these little gingerbread men shortbreads by Walkers. 
So I'm gonna put all of these in her little care package um, that I'm gonna send to my niece Lexi and her baby girl Ryan. Take those out. So I've gotta get those packaged. I have to, these mugs, I have to really wrap these um, nice and snug. So let me share with you what I found in Walmart just this morning. I had a couple things to take back. And while I was there, I was looking, um, because I don't know about y'all stores, but they're slowly getting things because they're not coming in on the trucks. I need to tell y'all about Michael's too. Went to Michael's today. That was crazy. Um, so while I was in Walmart, I'm always checking because our aisles are kind of half filled, which tells me they're not getting everything on the truck or it's not getting out like they want it, want it to. So look at these cute little kitchen towels that I picked up. I picked up multiples of each. I'm just gonna, you guys may have seen these. I haven't seen anybody haul them in any haul videos, but these are too adorable, just too stinking cute. So uh, these were on an end cap in my seasonal section, not the kitchen section in the seasonal display. And look at this, oh, baked with love and this is a nice pretty deep red like a burgundy red so it's not a red red isn't this adorable so these are kitchen towels and these are only 97 cents i think 97 or 98 cents how cute are these so i got two to send to lexi and two to send for me so i'll set those there and this in lexi's pile then they also had these that coordinate how adorable are these? Super, super cute. Now, I have seen a lot of crafters take these and turn these into pillows and other fun little DIYs. So, they had just stocked these. This would make adorable little pillows as well. And um, I think you need two of them and back them and stuff them. So, I might kind of look into that to make some little pillows. But I got two of these for me my pile and then two to send to Lexi and I thought these would be great to wrap these little gingerbread mugs up in for safe safety and mailing them up back up to Maryland so aren't these super cute now they did have um some uh maybe, maybe it's gonna escape me pot holders um they were in they were trimmed out in red with this and then solid red on the back. Did not get that because um, I just got these. Didn't didn't see the need for that. I had picked, this is a repurchase. I had picked this up. I'm not sure if I shared with this, this with you guys either because um, it's over there in my little box of goodies. But I went ahead and picked these up to send one of these to Lexi. Um, they're $1.98. These are in the seasonal party section of my Walmart. I just thought these would be a lot of fun for them when they do their cocoa and cookie nights um, with Ryan. And I thought that she would like these little cute little napkins. So that will go in their little care package. Okay. Now, um, let me make sure that's all aside. So I still have thrift store and an antique store to share with you. Okay. So I went to the little thrift store down the street from my office and I found just two little goodies. I picked up I was going to look at some of the books some of the um the old painting type books but they didn't they haven't gotten anything new in and, the, and what they had is kind of deplenished but they had this adorable little gingerbread cookie uh, mug I don't know where it's from it was a dollar fifty let me see what this says I want to take the price tag off in the store it's St. Nicholas Square sugar and spice don't know where it came from but I think it's really adorable. So I'm gonna put this up on my little candy, cocoa, Christmas station up in my kitchen. I thought that'd be a lot of fun to like keep some um, candy canes or some little goodies in there. So I got that. And then I picked up this little mini Rolodex. This was a dollar. So I'm gonna make this into a little project. So I got that um, to do something with crafty projects. I'm going to sit that out of there. So that's what I got. Um, nope, I got one more thing. But I have one more thing that I found at the thrift store, but I'm going to save it to last because it's super, super, super special. Okay, so then I went to the little antique mall 
here in my little town and lucked up and found two little goodies. They took the price tag off of this and it fell off. I think I paid $1.50 for this. This is a craft jar. I think jelly or something came in it. Doesn't say what was in it originally. It's by Kraft. Um, and it is a snowman jar. Can you guys see that? Is that not adorable? It says Kraft General Foods. No year or anything on it, but there's some raised words there. But I think it's super stinking cute and so adorable. He's got little button eyes. Can you see the little eyes? A little scarf and mittens. Super cute. And I'm going to add him to my candy station as well, cookie station, for Christmas. And because he's a snowman, he can actually stay out in January. So this was a cute find. And then while I was there, I found a set of bowls for $5. And check these out. Look! They're little gingerbread bowls. So they have a little Christmas tree. A couple little gingers on here. Candy canes. Little cookies. And then it repeats. And it's a set of three. I don't even think they've ever been used. I don't know where they're from. It says Kringle's Kitchen. Hand wash only made in China. They could be from the Dollar Tree. I don't know. Probably a discount store of some sort. But they are three. And again, they were $5. Super adorable. Another little ad for my Christmas baking. I've got things that I've bought over the years um, that I will add to my collection. So how cute are these little guys going to be up there? They're almost matching the colors. So, yep. And then it matches the colors on the towel. Super cute, right? Super adorable. Okay. Let me set this aside, all this ceramic. I still have my my one really cool thing. And then um, from Reconsidered Goods, I went there. They hadn't have a ton in, um, but I did pick up this one little stamp. Super cute. I'd seen that before and passed on it. Didn't get it. Then I picked this one up. This is a Stampin' Up! from 97. Sweet are the joys the season sends, but closest to heart are family and friends. Cute saying. And I think I'm going to have to go through and trim up this. I'm going to just stuck it to the block. You really should trim around this so you don't get the edges when you're doing your inking. Then I found this Simplicity and Crafts pattern. And these guys, guys, these were like regularly eleven ninety five back in the day. I don't know if there's a year on this. I don't see it. But that's crazy pricey to me. Um, but check it out. I remember these being all the rage when I used to do craft shows. And they're little gingerbread dolls. Aren't they cute? So you can make little gingerbread dolls here. See those? And it was a quarter. And it is all intact. It's, I don't think it's ever even been opened. So I thought this would be fun either just to use as a display or send to a crafty friend or use the inside to wrap some, you know, happy mail to a friend. So got that for a quarter. Super cute. Then the last thing that I got, there's a stamp. I'd seen this before and passed on it. And this is a stamp and upset. This was $5 and it's a huge um, snowflake. Sorry, I'm shaking you guys. So this, I got that little piece laminated in there. So it's stamping up. I don't even know if it has a year. I don't see a year on it. She cut that part off. But I don't think this is super old, but I like the scale of it. So you get two parts of the snowflake. You get the inside and then you have the outline. And that has the sentiment there. So you can do a lot with this. And it's a nice big stamp. So I thought that would be fun to make some very quick cards. And that was $5. And I'm pretty sure that was a lot more when it first came out. Okay, y'all ready for um, the big, huge find from the thrift store? I saved it best for last. So I was in the thrift store. And on the shelf was some fabric. And it was laying like this. 
That's about all I'm going to show you guys because that's about all. I don't even know that I saw that much of it. And I went, huh. That's inside out fabric, but that kind of looks interesting. So I took it out. I opened it up. Again, it's inside out, right? You guys see? As my excitement started to build, as I opened it up inside, and you guys can't see me, <laughs> and look, I about squealed. Look what I found, and it was $2. I kid you not, $2. It's the, you guys not gonna be able to see me. So it is the gingerbread apron from Diana Markham. Grandma's gingerbread by Diana Markham. I do not have the stamp, but isn't this adorable? I don't know if I'm gonna make it into the apron. I know several people have found this recently or purchased it, but this is everything that you need to make the apron. Let me stand up so I can, ooh, shaking you guys. Stand back so you guys can kind of see. Isn't this adorable? Let me try to show you guys all of it. Let me roll it up with my hands. Isn't that cute? Super adorable. I was so excited. Uh, again, I about squealed when I saw it. I love the little detail. I think this is what makes the ties that go around your waist and up around your neck is what you use to make this. And it is super stinking cute. It's got the apron instructions and the little images and super adorable. Again, I don't know if I'll make the apron or if I'll just keep it like this for now. Um, but at the bottom, you get the two gingers with the um, recipe and then the hearts. And then you get separate hearts and then a couple of the ginger patterns here. Super cute. And then the other little gingers with the little hearts buttons. So yeah, this was an awesome find. And the fact, I found some other fabric when I was with um, Marilyn and we were shopping at Re Reconsidered Goods. And um, I know she said I must have a good eye because I was spotting uh, fabric. Um, but this has a different texture than a lot of the other fabric. It's more of almost like a canvasy, thicker fabric. So literally when I tell you um, that all I saw was a little bit, all I saw was just a little bit of this. And um, it was laying on the shelf just like that. I didn't see any of the reds. I folded it different than what it was. Um, it was like this. They've got it folded on back side. I saw it like, get it back, I'm trying to fold, like that. Okay. So if I'd seen it the other way, I definitely would have noticed that these colors. But it, like I said, if you're out shopping and thrifting, this is not like your cotton. This is like a canvas type, thicker material. So keep your eyes out, guys. They're out there. Um, <clears throat> this made my day. I, I Something told me to go to the thrift store that day. I hadn't been in a while, um, probably since my last video that I shared with you guys about some of the books that I found and sent to Mar you know, gave them to Marilyn. But something pulled me in there that day and lucked up and found that. Super excited about that. So that was my big reveal. This is what um, I found. Again, I don't have any of those stamps. I remember when they were all the rage a long time ago. I remember seeing them at shows. I just think it's so cool that this whole style is coming back because this was very prominent when I used to do craft shows. Um... So yeah, and I wasn't a stamper then. I was painting and stuff back then mostly. So keep an eye at your thrift stores, guys, and your yard sales. Just don't rely on eBay. You just never know what you might find. But I hope you guys all have a wonderful, wonderful, safe and happy and healthy Thanksgiving. Thank you guys for watching. I've had quite a few new subscribers come on lately and people sending me notes and uh, lots of comments. So I really appreciate that. And again, be safe. Have fun with your family and friends. We have a lot to be blessed for, at least me and my family do, and I hope you do too, and um, have an awesome, awesome uh, Thanksgiving. Oh, I know what I was going to tell you. I had to go to Michael's today. 
because our office is participating in um, our little town here in Kernersville Christmas parade. So we're decorating the float and everything. So I was going to get supplies and I needed garland. You, you guys know that little plain little garland comes in nine foot sections. Black Friday, I think it's on sale for $2.99. With limited quantities, it's on sale right now for $3.99. So we made the decision to for me to go today and get it. Y'all, I went to the store at Michael's. They had one. I kid you not. One. They had tons of Halloween clearance taking up most of the seasonal section and a lot of fall stuff. They had one or two aisles half empty of Christmas. They had two or three up by the front register of undecorated 12 or 14 inch wreaths. They only had one of the garland, the plain cheaper garland. And they had a bunch of the lighted with lights on it, which are a lot more. I didn't need those because it's during the day. There's no sense to have lights during the day. Um, and they had very little ribbon, one little shelf of ribbon up near the register. And I went up to the lady and I said, uh, they had lots of boxes of trees. And every year I go to Michael's, never fails, on Thanksgiving Day or Black Friday, just because I love getting out and about, getting a few little deals. There's no need for me to go because they just don't have anything. They said they will not get a truck until next Monday or Tuesday. What they have is what they have for now. And she did a check, and they had some in the Winston store, but we decided to do something else. And I went to Ollie's and bought some um, garland there. But it's it's crazy. It's super crazy um, how empty this store is, this Michael's. I hope y'all's is better than ours. Um, but, yeah, it doesn't even want me to go Black Friday shopping. And typically, I'm, you know, right there when the store opens. I have no need because they had none of the Christmas pads. That I've seen everybody haul, not a one. They had a little, um, the you know, in the aisles. I hope y'all probably had that too, where they had like the little what I call floating displays, where they're like four sided or double sided. They had one little end cap of one of those with some of the Christmas stamps and dies that they've had. Those are pitifully stocked, and then um, some of their a few of their embellishments, not much. That was it. That's all the Christmas stuff. And like I said, none of the Christmas pads have they had yet at all. So I guess I won't be going Black Friday shopping at Michael's. So, but I hope you guys have some, find some goodies. And uh, I think I'm going to stay home and do some other things. I got to clean this room up, get this stuff mailed tomorrow to back up to Maryland. And um, so they can enjoy it. And um, yeah, y'all stay safe. Have fun. And again, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, everybody.